Okay, so hi guys, it's Minecraft MLG Pig here, and uh, I'll be really quick because I have limited time. And um, so you m possibly you may be seeing this video because you you've seen my advanced redstone tutorials about Minecraft. Hopefully you have because it's um, yeah. If you haven't, just quickly, I just do random tutorials about redstone, but they are an advanced level so but today I decided really to do a basic tutorial and uh, yep so this is basically it so uh, redstone well redstone wire is just a it's a wire guess what and um, if you put two blocks two wires uh, one next to each other obviously they'll interact and um, also, if you have, oops, shit. also you have, if you have a redstone on the block next to it at a higher level, one block higher, one block lower, and so this is redstone, and redstone has two states, on and off. Uh, when it's on, it will uh, um, open doors, trigger TNT, or do whatever you want. Uh, whilst when it's off, obviously it won't do nothing. Um, so it can be turned on by redstone torch on the on state, as you can see here. It can be turned on also by pressing a button. Although this will have um, w this will give power to the redstone wire only for a limited amount of time. Then here we have a lever on the on state that will is giving power to the wire. Here we have a pressure plate stepping on it or throwing an item on it, but this is um, a pressure plate made out of stone, so it won't work. It will give power to the mine, uh, sorry, to the wire. Then uh, here we have um, a minecart that's standing on a pressure uh, on a detector rail. I don't really know if you can see it, but. Um, it's a detector rail. If you put a minecart on it, it will give power to the um, redstone wire. Then uh, another important thing to know when you're using redstone is that redstone has a limited reach, and that means that it can only the the power can reach only 15 blocks away from the source. And uh, just to see how this is true, it's this is less than 15 blocks, actually it is fi exactly 15 and the power reaches the door, well here this is possibly 17 blocks away from that so the door won't open, as you can see here this is power, this isn't and so how do you power something that's uh, further than 15 blocks away from our uh, from our Source, well, the most common way to do that is uh, um, using repeaters. Repeaters are these plates here. Uh, they can be placed, obviously, facing every direction you want, and they will act as a new source, like, um, as you may see here. Uh, yeah, they will completely regenerate your power. So, uh, you can um, theoretically extend it how much you want and as you can see here it reaches now and it can also go further because as you well, obviously then uh, another important thing with the uh, well using repeaters is I'm just quickly going to do this it's that um, they can um, actually if you put too many one after another it's it will act as a like it will slow down the current and it will reach your destination after a while so that's uh, how that works and this is can be also useful because it can act as a like you step on it and after a few seconds this will open yep uh, and um, this works with a uh, pist um, sorry yeah, let's start again. Um, repeaters have um, five different, actually four, yeah, four different states, let's call them. 
um, that are called ticks. Ticks. This is one tick, two ticks, three ticks, four ticks. Um, more ticks you put, more well, the delay will be higher. So this, these are all set to the maximum delay, so to five. But even if I, so that's why it's getting that much time, the power to get. There. But if I even had a bunch of repeaters set to one ticks, one tick, it will also take some time. It won't be instant, although it will be much quicker. Then uh, here we have some clocks. How will these work? Uh, work. Um, it's basically now we'll turn it on. As you can see, it's providing a flashing current to the piston, and uh, that's really, really useful if you want to creations that include moving pistons such as uh, clocks such as uh, yeah don't get confused with that sort of clock and that sort of clock that's a timer like it's on 12 in the afternoon like that okay uh, or elevators or well everything that includes moving pistons and uh, obviously it can be on or off simply then uh, there are really many ways to do clocks. This is the most common, but I'm going to show you other ways of doing it. This is the most compact clock, and it's also one of my favorites because you can really um, you can really um, set the speed. Yeah, it obviously has a limit, but as you can see, this is. I think it's maximum speed, but you can make it slower or again make it faster as you want. So this is even really compact. But um, by the way, I wanted to show that you can't just create a clock like this, like because after a while the torches will burn out because they will be I don't know how to say stressed possibly because they will be on off on off on off on off on the and then it will break as my tongue just did. They will burn out. Literally. Then this is another type of clock that's really useful if you want to do a true clock that, as I said before, don't confuse. Uh, this clock is useful to make a clock like that tells you what hour it is. Okay, as you can see here, it has while well, one row is on, the other one is off. And opposite, obviously. And that's going to show you if you want to, I don't know, pop it on one of your, I don't know. Stick a piston and then two torches below and rest and torches below and everything works. Then, um, this is all for the clocks. Now we're going to pass to gates. Uh, hopefully in the next episode I'll be doing more gates, latches, flip-flops. I mean, if you, I, I, I'll see that you've appreciated this video I'll be continuing if not not <laughs> so um so like and comment and favorite subscribe do that shit okay then um actually I don't have to show you this sorry this is I'm going to show you here this is a knot gate that I actually figured it out a few minutes ago that it was called knot gate because it's Commonly, more more commonly known as inverter. So um, it just inverts the uh, the power, as uh, you can see here. Our lever is giving power to that, but our door is closed, and we'll have to put a put our lever on the off stage to get the door opening. And um, yeah, that that's really a really useful thing to do displays, and yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. But I'm sure you can find other uses for it. And um, then also, well, obviously, two inverters put one close to another will act as repeaters. Yeah, so, yeah. In alpha version, something there weren't re or repeaters didn't exist, so. Putting two inverters one next to another was the way, was the only solution to you know get to yeah act as a repeater. So uh, I'm just going to skip me skip the part in which I sleep, and I'll be right back. 
Then just to continue on our gates here, there's a, another one that's really come. That's the end gate, in which um, this will be powered only if both of these levers give energy to these torches. Uh, and in this case, um, I use it to open a door, but obviously, if both are on the torch, uh, the torch, the uh, door will open. And that works because, actually I don't think I've shown you this, but it's a bit obvious. So, um, if you give power to a torch, to a redstone torch, it will turn off. If you take away the power, it will turn on. Well, that's a bit obvious. But this is how this works, because if I put this lever on, as you can see, this one is off. And uh, since this one is still uh, on power, it's giving energy to this and this that's capturing it and not showing it up. I mean, it's off. And then we are we have similar gates here. Here there's the NAND gate that I don't know why it has a different name because it's the same exact thing, only that we don't have this redstone here. We just have uh, levers directly there. Okay, if both are on, that's will open the door or whatever. Then uh, here we have a much more complex gate that's called the XNOR gate. And how that works, this is quite brilliant because as you can see our output is coming from here. And uh, if we if they have to be different, I mean like a lever has to be on and the other one off to having this one not on power. So as you can see if this one is on and that one is off that's not uh, that's not giving away power and if both are off it's still giving away power. So this gives away power only if uh, both are the same and uh, it doesn't give power if both if uh, these two are opposite. So, well, um, like this, it will be more useful if you add an inverter here, but that's... Oops. You can choose what you do with that. And I haven't got my redstone back, so... Uh, so, um, then we have a lot of other gates. I have to be quick here. Here we have the NOR gate, really simple. Um, if just one is on, this will be off. That's really, it's really sim the most simple gate I know. Then this is the um, RS NAN latch. And as you can see, this will turn off the left side. Whilst this one will turn off the, well, its left side, that's the right side seen from the other level, lever. No, sorry. Um, Yep, I've just mistaken, sorry, um, both, I forgot to say that both, I mean, if this is off, and you turn this off, it won't work, because both uh, have to be opposite for this machine to work, so, I mean, if that's not on, if it's off, this won't do nothing, this won't do anything, so, so again, this is the RS9 latch, as you can see it there. And here we have, oh well, I already said that. We have, hopefully, our last one, yes. This is a XOR gate, and this is the opposite of this one. Because if both are the same, it uh, will not be, it will be keeping the power for itself. So to give away power they have to be different one opposite the other so one on and one off as you can see that's on if I do the opposite that's still on whilst if both are on that will be off and if both are off that will be off again yes so basically this is all for the first part of our tutorial and um, yeah I really like to thank you for the but I don't know if you will subscribe or something like that. And hopefully I'll be able to do a second episode with more comp complex stuff as flip-flops and other gates. And uh, I will continue posting advanced uh, creation 
total, by the way. So, see you.